for Suncoast News. We're here for you. Well, working out doesn't just do your body good, but apparently also your mind. The brain, the brain tends to shrink with age, and a new study has shown that with people who exercise, ac actually have less brain shrinkage. And here to tell us more about this is a brain expert, Dr. Dean Sutherland, aka a neurologist. We're going to talk about how working out also works out your mind. That's right. This is a very good study to find. I mean, yeah. it's nice to know that it's kind of a double benefit. You know, we have two parts of the brain that we consider. There's the gray matter on the outside and the white matter is on the inside. Mm -hmm. The gray matter is the sexy part that has all mm -hmm. the memories and who your grandmother is and things mm -hmm. like that. The white matter just doesn't get enough respect. Okay. So the white matter connects everything. So if you want to think about how to, to read something mm -hmm. or to say something, it has to be passed around between different parts of your brain. Okay. And so the white matter does all that heavy work. It connects mm -hmm. everything and it, it allows you to move your hands and your arms and... This study shows that um, people who exercise actually have preservation of their white matter. Their brain does not shrink as much. Wow. And so okay. they, they looked at a bunch of 70-year-olds. They followed them for three years, controlling for IQ, uh, social status, health status. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like people who exercise had bigger brains after three years. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That is great news. And it was even uh, in this study just walking, simply walking. It doesn't have That's to right. be, you know, going out running a marathon, but just getting that basic exercise shows benefits. Right. It looked like the people who were exercising the most had the most benefit, oh, wow. too. So the more you do, the better. So it really does pay off. Right. That's so great. and later on in life, say 80, 90, mm -hmm. 100 years old, if you don't have good white matter, then it affects your walking and it affects your movement. And also, you know, you have really slow thinking. So what we hope is that if people are exercising more, they'll have a better quality of life later on in those years as well. That's great. And also, of course, when you're exercising, you're keeping your body mass index down. That reduces right. your risk factors for a lot of other diseases. So it should probably extend your life in that way as well. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's just, there is no reason not to be active, basically, unless there's a condition that you need to talk to your doctor about first. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very true. Okay, and then now they were saying that they, it doesn't show a causal, it doesn't show a relationship that if you work out, you will increase your white matter, but they showed enough of a relationship that doctors are recommending people be active. Yes, for, for everything, as you said, mm -hmm. diabetes, heart risk, mm -hmm. things like that. So they couldn't show that people who, say, were 30 and 40 had been exercising prior to mm -hmm. that, you know, who had the bigger white matter later mm -hmm. on. They couldn't really show that relationship, but it just makes sense overall. Yes, everything. so there's no reason not to. And then the other thing that was interesting was those type of brain exercises, you know, the, the, the intellectual games, didn't show as much of an improvement. That's right. For years we thought if you were doing crossword puzzles and you were reading books, that you were doing your brain a favor. And I think that's probably true in, in general. Mm -hmm. um, but we also know that social interaction and exercise mm -hmm. are probably even more important than that. Wow. Surprisingly, we've made a reversal on that. Okay, so don't feel bad if you don't love all the crossword puzzles. <laughs> Just go out and take a walk outside with your friends or your family. Absolutely. That's the best way to do it. It. Okay. All right. Well, Dr. Sutherland, thanks for being with Thank us you. this morning. Happy Halloween. He Happy has Halloween. his Dr. Halloween costume on. We love this tie. Here. Seizure tie. There's a seizure tie. This is a seizure tie because some of the, there's a few little lines. That's hard to hand. tell, but <laughs> very cool. Thank you, Dr. Sutherland. Thank now you. let's head over to Chuck. Take a look at traffic. Thanks, Haley. The uh, one